Hey guys, it's David here, and welcome back to the finale of my three-part series, which was every GP from the Grand Final between the United Kingdom and Japan. So yeah, this is the final one, guys, and um, thanks for the support in the final in the last two episodes, and hopefully you can give me the same amount of support in this episode. Yeah, this is the final one, taking a lot of energy out on me doing three, like, an average of nine-minute commentaries every time, so... I'm quite surprised that I'm able to do it. I'm surprised that my voice isn't. Hello, hello, everybody, hello. But it's still strong. And this time I'm not. I haven't got a cold this time, so I can be enthusiastic, kind of. If that's what you want, I don't really know if that's what you want. Silly moment at the start. You saw what I did. Just thought, you know what? I'm just going to throw these away because you know I'm not. I'm not MLG enough, and I throw them away and I get. I've been on myself because I'm a silly ability, and then. You know, a chain reaction, which is the most common thing on Mario Kart 8, isn't it? You know, you get hit by one, the it's inevitable you're going to get hit again. So what I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to be trying to talk about my thoughts for the new upcoming, well, firstly, the DLC, and after that I'll probably be talking about the new Smash Brothers game, because it looks good, doesn't it? So let's go straight on to the first one, which is the DLC. So yeah, I put a, um, a commentary up on my channel a while back when it first got released explaining explaining what's on it but a lot more has been confirmed and it, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't actually bought the packs yet I'm still debating whether to get it because I'm always I'm like I'm just like procrastinating thinking you know it's still a month to be to, be to come and it still hasn't actually had a confirmation date has it if I'm wrong please let me know because I'm not sure if it has been confirmed by the way, you saw there that there was two shocks in play. Mario Kart 8 does have that. You can have two shocks at the same time, two bills, etc, etc. It's not because Japan are hacking or something. But yeah. So the DLC pack, it it looks good, doesn't it? Like the addition of eight new tracks in the first one. And, you know, and the new characters. And, and they're actually, yesterday I think it got leaked, that there's a new... Legend of Zelda bike. And I don't remember what it's called, but it looks really snazzy. Like, it... It's, I think it's an inward drifting one as well, and it's got new wheels with a Triforce thing on it. So that looks really cool. Really cool, if you ask me. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's other stuff as well, like other vehicles that have been confirmed. The Blue Falcon, I think, from Mario Kart um, Wii and F Zero, and other stuff as well. Warriors Goldmine's going to look going to be really good, I think. I think it's going to be one of the best front running tracks, anyway. And I, but personally. I don't think I'm going to get the other one. I have the feeling that Mario Kart 8 is, like, the amount of people playing it is depreciating, and, like, there's not as many people as I expected would be playing it, so how would I know in six months down the line that people will not be playing it anymore? So I might not, I'm not going to get the second DLC. To, I know it's a lot cheaper to buy them both at the same time, instead of one after another, but I still don't think I'm going to get the second one. I know you get an additional Shy Guy and stuff, and extra Shy Guys and Yoshis, but Yoshis, I'm going to get hated for saying that wrong. I don't know what to say. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, I don't know, will Mario Kart 8 be as active? Because if it's not, if it's just, if it's like a ghost town around the community still, then what's the point, really? And that's, that, that's just my thoughts of it. But yeah, I, I'm definitely going to do a lot of videos explaining the DLC and showing all the characters and stuff off. I can't wait for that. I think it's going to be a great time. A great time with your big pal. Why do I keep saying stuff like that? <laughs> anyway, the next topic is the new Wii U Smash Bros. I keep wanting to call it Brawl because I used to call... Um, I used to call Brawl Brawl, didn't I? <laughs> so I used to call the third installment of a Smash Bros. series called Brawl and used to call the other one Melee. But I, this one doesn't have a name, doesn't it? It's just Super Smash Bros. 4 or Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U or 3DS. But yeah, um, at school, uh, you know, when in your free periods, I've been been playing the demo of Smash Bros. 3DS, and it's you know you don't get much in the demo, but it's still a really good f uh, fun to play because, and I'm just like gaining a lot of experience with like the characters. The village is my favourite at the moment, even though I can only play five characters on it. But my, the village is my favourite. Um, who else do I like? I don't like anyone else. <laughs> I just like the village. But like, when you can like build a tree, like build a tr grow a tree. <laughs> Good one, David. You can grow a tree and just like you, you axe it down, and it, it just completely obliviates the opponents. It's not. It's a pretty anti-global <laughs> warming thing, isn't it? Let's cut down trees. It's not. It's the best idea. But I like it. 
I like the um, idea how, you know, you have to do like three different things for it to happen and then it, you know, it's a lot more powerful than anything else. I just, I just spam that, don't I? But yeah, for the Wii U, I'm going to do so many videos, I've, I can't wait for it to be honest. And, and I hope there's going to be a few competitive tournaments. I'm asking um, Red Falcon Games at the moment if he can, <laughs> if maybe there's like going to be like a tournament between the directors or the Nimbus community. I don't know. That would be fun to play. I, I wouldn't mind that. I'm just asking about it. And I think, you know, what are your guys' thoughts on the new Wii U? Well, Super Smash Bros. 4 for the 3DS, and then what you think, what are your predictions for the Wii U one? I, I, I can't wait for it. And I think competitively it'll be br brilliant. Like, I'm not going to be good at it. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be quite bad at it, because I, I was never good at Brawl. Um, never played Melee. I wasn't really around at the time when it when it was played competitively. I think it's still played competitively now. But I think that this this installment will be quite a competitive game when you turn off the items and use like playing on like Final Destination, and I think that'll be really fun to play. And I'll be doing a few like different series on that. So yeah, and I'll probably end up doing my own little tournament or something on it. Something for just a bit of fun, really, a bit different, you know. Mario Kart 8 was getting a bit is getting a bit stale to some people. I don't really mind it still. I, I'm still a more of a neutral person to it. As I said, I'm not that for the competitive side of Mario Kart 8, but it's still alright. <laughs> it's not a bad game. But, yeah, the new Smash Bros, I think, will be really good. So, that's just my thoughts and opinions on it. I just thought, you know, I'd give that out there. You know, I've already explained in my first ever commentary for Nimbus that the games I'm going to be definitely getting will be Smash Brothers for the Wii U, Splatoon, um, because, you know, that is Squiddy in it. You know, you can back me up, guys, that's Squiddy. Anyway, and what else, what else, what else? I've got it in my head. It's going to be Yoshi's Epic Yawn. No, it's not Epic Yawn, it's Yoshi's Woolly World. <laughs> but yeah, they're the games I'm looking forward to the most. So... That's it for me talking on the topic. Now it's time for your favourite moment of the gameplay. It's where I talk about the gameplay. So David, David's drafting there. He takes the little thingy and jumps off the edge with a short cut. Oh, oh, now he takes an item box. Oh, oh. Now, uh, even though that sounds quite epic, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to keep that up for the whole race. I'm just going to reel off what I'm doing. So we're top three. Got the green out behind me, and I just get bumped up. I thought I was going to be like, like a little shortcut there, you know. Get pushed onto the glider from that angle, and it just turns you around onto the glider. I don't know what I'm thinking. But I went from third to ninth when we had top three. I'm pretty sure we're still up there with top two. Um, me and Jamie are quite far back here. Um, as you can see on the screen, <laughs> that's what it was. That's the word I was looking for. Um... See, so yeah, I'm looking for a good item. A golden is really good here, but I don't want to use it straight away because, you know, there's no way I'd, I'd, I don't think if I started golden straight away, would I get the boxes? I'm not too sure, but I wanted to use it here. I remember slow down here, and if you press the brake button when you're going around this turn, just press it for a half a second, you can take that turn really tight. As well as the turn we're coming up to now, if you do the exact same thing I told you, just press the B button on the gamepad, and it makes you go tight. Look how tight I'm going. That's really, really tight. Yeah. Anyway, that's how you do it, and that's that's probably how people are probably thinking. How is he going so tight? And it's because they're um, decelerating. <laughs> they're braking on the um, turn. So yeah, I didn't know I'd be going on for that for about 30 seconds, but yeah, there's the blitz. It was our shock. Blitz means shock in German. Maybe dinner. <laughs> then. That was our shock, and it, me and Jamie both had stars, and we didn't dodge. I, I was really angry at that. Protox, I know you're watching. I've, see, I've seen you around. I, I'm mad at you for that. I'm, mental, I'm going mental at you. Anyway, guys, I got ready on the line, and that's the end of the episode. I, I, that's the end of the series thing. I really hope you enjoyed it. You know, we lost, but there's a second game. I don't think I'm going to do it again for it, but thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, press like if you want, and subscribe to Nimbus for more Nintendo content. And if you want, check out my channel for daily Mario Kart 8 videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.